Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing fractions, specifically how we can compare fractions without any pictures, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So when we compare fractions in third grade, we either have the denominators the same or the numerators the same. So let's start with the easier one, in my opinion, which is when we have the same denominators. So remember, our denominators tell us how many pieces that whole is broken up into. And in this case, we're going to be comparing 3 eighths and 5 eighths. And if the denominators are the same, that means that we are simply looking at the numerators. And it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to be looking to see which one has more parts, and that one's going to be the greater. Because it makes sense if we were to draw a picture here just to represent this. We could say these are going to be the eighths. Well, if I just take 3 eighths and then I take 5 eighths, well, obviously the 5 is going to be greater than the 3, so that makes sense. We could do the same thing over here with our 3 fourths and our 1 fourth. If we know that they're both looking at fourths, so that means each piece is the same size, 3 is going to be bigger than 1, because I'm going to take 3 pieces, and that's going to be more than 1 piece. That's the easy part. Let's see what happens when the numerators are the same, but the denominators are different. So let's take a look at this first example, and I'll explain how we can do this. Uh, we'll draw a picture on the first one, and then we'll do the second and the third one without any picture. So let's say I wanted to draw a fraction strip here, represent this two-thirds. Okay, so you try to split it up into three equal parts. All right, there's your two-thirds. Now, how are we going to compare that with the 6? Well, we need to make sure that our fraction strip is exactly the same size. That's where it gets a little bit difficult. And then we need to cut it into 6 equal parts. And here's my 2 sixths. Take a look at what we have. Each of these fractions have the same numerator, 2. I'm taking 2 pieces. But on this first one, the fraction strip is only cut into three equal pieces, so the pieces are larger. On the second one, I'm cutting the exact same size fraction strip into six equal pieces. Well, if it's the same fraction strip size, then each of these pieces, the six, are going to be much smaller because I have to cut that same size fraction strip into six equal pieces rather than three big pieces. So it's kind of backwards here. The smaller the denominator, the larger the pieces. So you see here on my two-thirds, it's going to be much larger because there's only three total pieces, and I'm taking two of them. That's more than half. Whereas on this other one, there are six total pieces, so they're each going to be smaller, and so I'm not taking very much. So let's see if we can do that with this three-sixths and this three-fourths. Once again, in third grade, we either need to have the same numerator or the same denominator. So we have the same numerator here. So I'm thinking, okay, so which of these are going to have smaller pieces, right? The sixths or the fourths, because each of them have three pieces taken. And hopefully we remember from the first time that the larger the denominator is, the smaller the pieces are going to be. So these are going to be smaller pieces, because that same whole is going to be broken up into six pieces. Whereas these are going to be larger pieces, because that same hole is only broken up into four pieces, so each piece is going to be a little bit bigger. So if I take three out of the four pieces, that's actually going to be greater than if I take three out of six pieces. Same thing with this, four-fifths and four-eighths. We have the same numerator, so we're just looking at the denominator. And I'm looking at 5, and I'm looking at the 8. And the 5 is going to be a smaller number. I'm going to take that whole and break it up into 5 pieces. So that's actually going to be larger pieces because this 8, I'm going to have to cut those into really tiny pieces. So the smaller the number, the larger the pieces, if it's in the denominator. And the larger the number, the smaller the pieces in the denominator. So we can Look at it like this, 4 fifths is greater than 4 eighths.